Good morning and happy Saturday. Kimberly Faith here and Michael. We are ready to begin another adventure. We're in Tahoe for the weekend. I got so much great feedback and everything from my last Tahoe videos that we decided to come make a weekend of it and come back and discover more the clearest water in Tahoe, the best beaches in Tahoe, things I haven't seen, do some hiking, find some waterfalls. There's so much northern Nevada has to offer and I've not even scratched the surface. So uh yeah. So that's and our goal today. That's our scratch goal. The surface. Scratch more of the surface. That's right. I got my magic binoculars because there's a lot to see. I could see you. You're looking good today. Mighty fine. You always hear people say, oh I'm having a bad hair day. She's having a very good hair day. You I see am. that? Look at this. Look. Oh, that's great. I've already had two people come up to me in the hotel. And they're like, you got great hair. It's really rad. Two compliments thank before you. 8 a.m. Yes, thank you. Pretty good. Thank you, one, Carlos. Your hair is awesome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I mix three for the morning. I don't even know what he's doing. We just pulled up on the side of the road and he's... I don't know, bear hunting maybe. Our first stop is a place called Skunk Harbor. Not a very appealing name, uh, but my friend Leslie, uh, a local, told me that it's great. She told me it was one of the top five places to check out. So we're gonna go hike way down there. We just pulled off on the side of the road. Oh. <sighs> Pine trees. Y'all understand why this is in my opinion, the most beautiful place in America. The approach, there she is. Going on a bear hunt. Is that the song? What's that song? Going on a bear hunt? A turkey hunt? What are you, what's that song? A bear hunt. A bear hunt. I gotta get, yeah. Here, here at Skunk Beach, we found this beautiful home, abandoned home that maybe we could buy. <laughs> fix it up. Fix it up. It's yeah, a fixer-upper. It up. <laughs> but it's got an outdoor fireplace. Isn't this place great? I'd love to peek inside. Let's see what we can see. Hmm. Ooh! <laughs> there were sounds. <laughs> Something. That's as close as I need to get. Rat. Rats. Ooh, yuck. We are testing the waters, literally, trying to find the clearest waters in Tahoe. It's nearly impossible to find waters that aren't clear. <laughs> For a second, I thought he was going to jump in. <sighs> it's a little cold. 57 degrees. It's kind of like claim your own rock out here. So, of course, I want to pick the one that's the furthest one out. The water's arrestingly cold. Luckily, those rocks aren't slippery. That would be a problem. You know, there are some places you just find that some people find that are like, this is it. This is my happy place. Some people it's Hawaii. Some people it's the beach somewhere. This is my happy place. Like, put me here. I don't need to leave. <laughs> well, I mean, I need to travel. That's a lie. I do need to leave. But I could live here. We're gonna pretend like this is us and someone shooting a video of us. This guy right here is gonna take the plunge. I uh oh boy. You ready? Oh I'm ready. Oh boy. Woo! <laughs> Exhilarating. <laughs> I'm alive, baby. Uh -huh. I'm alive. He is alive. <sighs> exactly. 
That's the that's the way this place makes you feel. Feels great. <laughs> I'm loving this. I know, right? Living the dream. This is the dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, one of the things my dad taught me is when you're in an area or you're having a moment where everything seems perfect, to just take a second and stop and almost take a five cents or as many senses as you can image of your moment. Close your eyes for a second, breathe in the air, feel what it feels like either on your water on your toes or wind or whatever that is. Feel it, smell it, listen to the birds, listen to the water, look around. And in some cases, I mean, if you could taste it. And since this is my happy place, I think I can add the fifth sense. How many places you go can you actually taste the moment other than a restaurant? So I think I'm gonna drink some of Lake Tahoe. I don't, I don't know if I suggest it or recommend it. Maybe don't try this at home. Well, you can't do it at home. You have to do it at Lake Tahoe. <laughs> but. <laughs> Are you going to uh, drink some of Lake Tahoe? Yes, I am going to do it. <laughs> that was more than I expected. It's good, actually. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah. Who needs a yeah. life straw? Don't have... do this at home. <laughs> we're, we're rebels. We're on the edge. Yes, we're doing yes. it. <laughs> Don't take home driftwood either. Yeah. It's, but you're, it's like you're drinking in the area. You I mean, are. You know, it's a metaphor. Just becoming and, uh, one with the lake. Yeah. And literally. It's, uh, it's beautiful. I'm not off in the esoteric land, but this is beautiful as far as like truly connecting with the land. That's right. You're going to Skunk Harbor. It's a long way up. You just have to go. You can't really see very well. It's a long way down, so it's a long way up. Probably a good 500 feet. So be prepared. So what goes down must go up. How you feeling? Feeling great. Majestic. It is unbelievable how many cars are here. This this would be one downside to uh, to living here. Now welcome to California. All right. Let's see what California Tahoe has to offer. And we're kind of like running in some dead ends just because of the crowds. So we decided to just do the perimeter around the lake and we found a, a strange turnoff in a residential neighborhood. And we're going to see what we can find because, you know, sometimes this is the good stuff. We don't have to pay for parking. We found parking. So let's, let's go. We figured out what it's called. It's called Lake Forest Beach in Placer County? Interesting. There's the water trail here. I guess you could just keep hiking. I guess you could just keep going. I love the smell of copper tone. Copper tone smells like copper tone. That's deep. It is, I know. Well, banana boat smells like bananas. Hawaiian Tropic smells like coconuts. Copper tone smells like copper tone. <laughs> so, we are, uh, this looks pretty shallow. We put our sneakers on. See, and we're gonna try and walk to it. We're out about, I don't know, 100 feet. And we're going to see how far we could keep walking and still stand. Well, like, before getting totally wet. I'm just going to walk across the lake to the Nevada side. I'm going <laughs> to walk to Nevada. I'll be right back. Look how far we walked. How many yards would you say that is? Uh, it's 200 yards. 200 yards. That's 200 yards. 600 feet. We walked 600 feet and I'm still only slightly above. So it's like two, two and a half feet deep, maybe. Uh, it's pretty cool. I might drink some more. <laughs> we are here at the Boat Works Mall in uh, somewhere in Lake California. Tahoe. <laughs> we're in California. Not sure where. And uh, we're going to go see what we can see. See if they can. It's time for lunch. So, this is definitely a different kind of adventure. So, join us as we enter Boat Works Mall. 
fun fact. I love souvenir shopping. I love it. Here we are. Where are we? I don't even know. We are at Jake's. Haci no. <laughs> We're at Hacienda del Lago in Tahoe City. Look at this view. I mean, how incredible. Uh, we got uh, an enchilada and a taco. It was perfect for just a mid-afternoon snack. Super perfect. Um, we're just kind of making our way around the lake, finding different things. We found some cute shops in this little area. Um, it's great. Simple and great. We are pulling into the Meeks Bay Resort. Don't know what we're going to find here, but it looks beautiful. Check this place out. Wholesale. Uh, really great. You know, it costs $10 if you want to hang out here um, for the day. They have a nice grill. They have restrooms. They have camp spots. It's a freaking nice, just fun beach if you want to just do your thing for the day. Clearly, it's a very popular beach. It's pretty cool. It's like a beachy beach. As opposed to a non beachy in the mountains, which makes it so much better. Look at this beautiful tree. How much do you love it? I love it that much. I love it that much. I think it loves you too. Yeah. I love it. I love it, tree. We are at D.L. Bliss State Park. Can't get in, it's closed because of all the people here. So we parked at the entrance on the road and we are going to walk down to something. <laughs> what that something is, is yet to be determined. But we're on the paved road and we're gonna get there. We think it's water. We think it's water. I mean, isn't, isn't everything around here but water? One of the most popular trails here is the Rubicon Trail. And we're not doing it all now, here. so we're here. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna continue to head down to the water where there's gonna be a lighthouse, maybe a beach, I don't know, but it's perfect here. It's like room temperature. It's not cold, it's not warm, it's just perfect. I wonder if they named the Jeep after the trail or the trail after the Jeep. Which came first, the Jeep or the trail? This, this water is no filter. It's the most beautiful cobalt blue, which I just learned what that means. It's like really uh, vibrant dark blue-ish. It's like royal or than royal blue. I'm gonna show you guys a different type of lighthouse. There's a lighthouse we're approaching here. Back in 1919, um, Congress or something decided that they would build four of these quote unquote lighthouses. Don't look like a traditional one, unlike Tahoe. Each was built for $900 and had was candlelit. So, uh, in 2001, it was renovated, but this is what an old school lighthouse <laughs> looks like. I know in another video I commented on the pine cones here, but look at this. It's it's larger than my arm. It's as long as the bottom part of her leg. It's, look at this. Have you ever <laughs> seen such a big pine cone? It's huge. This is like two feet long. No, it's like 15 inches maybe. Huge. They're everywhere. That's just not, that's not like an anomaly. They're everywhere. We decided to stay in Carson City after a fun, wonderful day in Tahoe. Um, but we don't really know anything about Carson City because it's our first time here. Across the street from our hotel is a casino hotel called The Nugget, Carson City. And um, we're hungry. It's like 8.30, which is late for me. So we just decided to walk in here and see what we could find. We found an Italian restaurant. Um, this is one of our only options. And we are the only people in the restaurant. And so far, so good. I mean, I had to pick up one of my olives, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it's been good. And hey. I mean, you get the white glove treatment because you're the only person here. Thanks so much for joining me on today's adventure. It was unexpected. We didn't know 
all the places we were going to land. Um, and tomorrow is going to be another day like today. So be sure to tune in. Um, for you, it'll be next week, but for me, it'll be tomorrow. And we'll see what else, uh, what other secrets in Lake Tahoe we can uncover. So see you next time. Thanks for joining.